Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to active tests like the civil service exam, OPCAT, LAELET, FILSAT, all of those things. And today we're going to talk about a problem na um, nakakonfuse ang ilan and I've had people send me uh, questions about this type of problem kasi akala nila they, they are supposed to use yung aking uh, explanation for the work problem sa algebra. Uh, now, I, th I guess the confusion comes from the fact na parang tunog work problem siya. But the truth is, hindi yung formula na yun ang gagamitin sa gitong klaseng problem. It's actually more um, towards ratio than anything else. And that is the reason why I want to show you this. Ano yung klaseng problem ito? Ito yung may mga kunyari, if there are five workers and they can uh, weave a basket for uh, in 10 minutes how many workers will it take uh, to weave two baskets in three hours yung mga ganon, <laughs> ganon klase yung mga tanong. And uh, that is what we're going to talk about today. So para mapakita ko sa inyo kung paano siya i-solve, habang nandito ako sa Bacolod, uh, I'm going to switch over to my laptop so I can show you better. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so ito yung sinasabi natin, work problem. Merong um, three components siya usually. May person, kung ilan yan, yung people dun sa work problem. May pace or may rate sa kung gano'ng karami natatapos nila sa isang oras, sa dalawang oras, or whatever. And then yung product, which is kung ilan yung mats na na-weave, ilang baskets ang nagawa, ilang cars ang na-paint, or anything like that. Now, let's talk about the concept first. Ang concept works under this impression, okay? Na... Yung product, okay, or basically kung ano yung nabubuo, for example, again, you have your baskets, you have your papers, yung mga ganon, kung ilan yung cars, or anything like that, kung ano yung produkto, ano yung ginawa. Equal siya sa kung ilan yung gumawa sa kanya, or yung ating workers, or people, Okay, times yung kanilang rate or yung tiyatawag nating pace times, again, kung ilan yung time. Okay? Or panahon. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Kung kunyari, okay, may dalawang workers at bawat isa sa kanila kaya nilang gumawa ng uh, isang blanket, okay, sa loob ng apat na minuto, okay, at meron silang, sabi natin, 12 minutes, okay, ilan ang magagawa nilang blankets. Ang gagawin mo is, multiply mo siya lahat. So, 2 over 4, si 2 times 1, one fourth, it's 2 over 4 or 1 half, times 12, okay, or that will give you 24 over 4, or basically 6. Yan. Ibig sabihin, anim na blankets ang magagawa ng dalawang tao at the rate or pace na uh, one blanket per 4 minutes if magkatrabaho sila sa loob ng 12 minutes. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin ito? Kung alam natin itong concept na ito, Okay, we can solve for yung inahanap natin. This is an example, okay, of this type of problem. Okay, we have, um, if, the two, if two typists can type two pages in two minutes, how many typists will it take to type 18 pages in six minutes? Ngayon, ang problema dito is, hindi kompleto. You only have two typists, which is yung people, Meron, meron tayo niyan. You have your uh, panahon, okay? Uh, which is, yan. how many types will it take to type 18 pages in 6 minutes? So, you have your panahon, which is 6 minutes. But yung ating work rate, okay, or the pace, is not here. Wala dito. Hindi nakalagay na they can type. Uh, two pages in one hour or anything like that. Ang binigay, two typists can type two pages in two minutes. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Paano ngayon natin makukuha yung rate or yung pace? 
Ang formula niyan works like this. Yung job or yung dami ng kanilang nagawa na product over the time it took for one person. So, ang mangyayari, ang ratio niya actually is like this. Two people can type two pages in two minutes. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Hindi pa natin alam exactly yung pace. To get the pace, ang gagawin mo is the, the work or the product over kung ilan yung taong gumawa, which is two, okay, which is the people, over the time or panahon it took them, ito yung magiging pace. So, in this case, that is two pages by two people in two minutes. So, anong gagawin natin dyan pag over-over? Huwag -over? kayo matens dyan. Ang gagawin mo lang is pick one side. Kung dito tayo muna titiin sa taas, two over two, that is two divided by two is one, tapos mayroon ka pang over two. So, that is one half. Ito ngayon yung magiging pace mo. So, again, yun yung first step is to find the pace. Ano yung pace niya? So, dahil meron na tayong pace, which is one half, ibig sabihin nun, bawat isang tao, every person, can type one page in two minutes. What will happen would be, if plug in na natin siya dun sa ating formula. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung ating people, which is sinahanap, how many typists, that is your x, times the pace, which is one half, kasi nga, one page per two minutes, times the given a time, which is six minutes, Okay? Equal siya dapat sa 18 pages, which is yung requirement. That is your formula. So, we will just solve for this. So, again, you have lahat na nasa taas, kasi this is x over 1, this is 6 times 6 over 1. Ibumultiply natin lahat na nasa taas. So, that is 6x over 1 times 2 times 1 is 2. Okay? Again, kung naguluhan doon, x times 1 is still x times 6 is 6x. Ayan, equals 18. Tapos, ito ngayon, multiply natin both sides sa 2 para makancel yun to. You have 6x is equal to 36. Didivide natin both sides sa 6 para makancel din yung 6. x is equal to 6 minutes. Eh, 6 minutes, 6 typists. Yun ang inanap. Yan ang sagot. Ibig sabihin nun, anim na tao ang kayang mag-type ng uh, 18 pages in 6 minutes. Alright? So, again, that is the tricky part of this problem. So, if you need to watch this video again and again until you figure it out, go ahead and do that. Again, ang pace, makukuha mo siya by knowing kung ilan ang magagawa ng isang tao. Okay? So, in this case, dahil dalawa yung tao na gumawa ng 2 pages per 2 minutes, i-divide pa natin siya. Product over people over panahon. Okay? So, ito yung ating uh, sample question. I'm going to ask you to try it out. Hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay? So, again, you have, if four weavers can weave two mats in four minutes, how long would it take eight weavers to weave eight mats? So, anong gagawin natin? Una sa lahat, hanapin natin kung ano yung mga given. Ang binigay, do sa pinaka-final na situation, you have 8 weavers times yung pace, which is nawawala. Hindi pa sinabi, no? Hanapin natin yung mamaya. To weave 8 mats. Ang hinahanap is yung panahon. This becomes your X. So again, tanong muna, number 1, find the pace. Ano yung rate ng kanilang paggawa? At ang ating formula, again, is the, kung ilan yung product, dun sa first situation, you would know that kasi may if statement, okay? So, you have, yung dami na ginawa nila, which is 2 mats over 4 people over 4 minutes. Okay? Again, dito, ay 2 mats, 4 people, 4 minutes. So, ilan ang ginawa ng bawat isang person sa loob ng 4 na minuto? That is, one, this is going to be 1 over 2 over 4. Okay? So, 1 half over 4. 
Ngayon, para nakita ng over-over, again, ang gagawin ninyo dahil ito ay still fraction pa rin siya, think of it this way. Para siyang 1 half divided by 4. Okay, again, 1 half divided by 4. Kasi diba, parang yung uh, 2, four, 2 fourths, that is 2 divided by 4. So, it's basically 2 divided by 4 divided by 4. So, 1 half divided by 4. Ito, pwede na natin i-solve. I-multiply lang natin siya sa reciprocal, which is 1 over 4. It will give us 1 over 8. So, ito na ngayon yung ating pace. Okay? Pag may pace na tayo, then we can get the um, we can get the answer here. Okay, so, gagawin na natin ngayon, isa-substitute na natin siya. You have 8 weavers times the pace, which is 1 over 8, times the panahon, which is your x, kasi yun yung nawawala, equals 8 mats. So, this is 8 times 1 over 8, times x, so may over 1 yan lahat. Lahat ng nasa taas, ipagsasama-samay natin. 8 times 1 times x is 8x, over 8, is equal to 8 mats. Makakancel ito. So, that you will be left with x is equal to 8. So, the answer is 8 minutes. It will take uh, 8 it will take eight weavers, 8 minutes to weave 8 mats. Okay? So, again, the key here is to know what you are looking for and know what you need to do to find it. Okay? Ang kailangan lang gawin is relax, take your time, find the pace, plug it in. Okay? If you need more uh, practice for this, I'm going to post questions then on the Facebook page. So make sure that you like that page. Alright? Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo ko mag-exam din sila. And as always, if you want any of my reviewers or if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. Thank you so much guys for um, watching this video and salamat sa, sa mga nagpapadala ng mga gandong klaseng questions including Chard. Si Chard actually yung nagpadala sa akin ng uh, isang question na kapareho nito so I figured maybe I should start talking about it. Alright, God bless guys sa inyong exam. Adja, adja, kaya niyan. yan. And if you are going to take the UPCAT, there is a free review event on October 14, 2017. Um, if you can attend that and you're taking the exam, go and uh, register. The link is down below. Have a great day guys. Bye for now.